In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five steps animated slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first step comes, you can see here, I have given this kind of a 3D look. And then you can put the option number one and some icon and some detailed text at the top. When I click with a different color combination, comes the option number two, then three, four, and five so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and i have created one more slide where i have used some different color combination and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this if you are using the older version like 2007 or 2010 then some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light gray color background then go to insert shapes uh, from the rectangles i'm going to choose this one which is rectangle top corner rounded draw a rectangle something like this and make sure this small orange point just drag this inside and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size and once this is done i'm just going to rotate it left 90 degrees all right and then i'm just going to maybe i don't want this much okay then shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to give some different color here then select this object go to format shape then fill make it transparent all right and then i'm just going to put it something like this you can reduce the size of this all right so you can see here the one which is uh, which i have highlighted this particular area i'm going to delete it and rest the, the area which is not highlighted will remain okay so depending on your requirement you can adjust it then i'm going to add one oval shape here for that go to insert shape select oval shape hold the shift key and make it a perfect oval shape shape outline no outline and you can give again some transparency effect maybe some different color combination you can give and then i'm just going to put it like this and make sure that this should not come down let me just zoom in it should be like this all right and then this particular the height of this one should match with this so i'm just going to hold the control sorry the shift key and reduce the size okay so it looks something like this make sure this one and this one is in the same alignment okay so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold select this object hold the shift key select this rectangle go to shape format merge shape and i'm going to subtract it all right and then this one i'm going to make it full color and then i'm going to make this as a white okay so it looks like this again if you want to cut this into two pieces also you can do that one for that go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw a rectangle covering half portion only or instead of this one you can again add the same thing okay make it fully curved give some transparent effect rotate it left 90 degrees and how much you need to cut you can select that one so now i'm going to select this shape first of all make sure that this is no outline so i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key this one more shape make it fragment okay and unwanted text i don't need this one i'm going to delete it and now this becomes two can you see here so this color you can give any color of your choice for example i'm going to give some uh, green here and again here also i'm going to give a uh, green but i'm going to give more darker so i'm going to more colors and just make it more darker here so it looks like this all right and for this shape what you can do is you can add some gradient fill and shadow effect so i'm going to select this white oval shape press ctrl d to duplicate make it a gradient gradient i'm going to keep it only two stop one stop i'm going to make it white color and the transparency should be zero oh sorry 100 percent and this one i'm going to give some gray color here all right and you can just rotate it whichever way you want and then i'm just going to put it exactly on top of this so it gives you 
kind of a 3d look okay all right so once this is done i'm going to select this again and now this time i'm going to make it a solid fill color i'm going to give a, a black and increase the transparency you can see here go to the effects soft edges increase the size okay and i got this shadow effect if you want you can make it somewhat increase also by holding the shift key and send this to back so you can see here we have added this uh, uh, shadow effect like this so now once this is done i'm going to select all the objects press ctrl g to group it i'm going to put it here one now how many you want depending on that one you can duplicate this one press ctrl d to duplicate so this one will start exactly here this is second one press ctrl d third one and the fourth one again if you want five one that means you have to reduce the size now let me just give some different color combination i'm going to give some kind of a, a yellow with a dark orange you can see here any color combination you can give so basically use the same color combination some more darker shades you can see here and here i'm going to select maybe a purple with a dark purple here okay some random colors you can choose so once this is done you need to do one more uh, shape here so i'm going to select uh, ungroup this one only group or i can just duplicate this one let me just duplicate okay i don't want this one i'm deleting delete sorry this also i'm going to delete only this part i'm going to put it here okay so whichever way you want you can just do that one so now align it press ctrl a to select all the objects and then properly align it okay and then go to the insert if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can use any icons of your choice so some random icons i'm going to choose from this okay click insert reduce the size 2.5 and give some gray color and then i'm just going to add one by one this is one this is two this is three this is four and one more icon we need to add it here so once this is done what we need to do is we need to add the option so go to text type zero one make it bold increase the size and you can give maybe some gray color center align and i'm going to put it here one press ctrl d this one will be the second this is third and this will be fourth so this one i'm going to make it two this is three and this is four and then you can go to insert text box you can add some detailed text add detail text here okay center align if you want same color reduce the font size and you can add some detailed text press ctrl d to duplicate add the detailed text one by one like this all right and if you want to do some basic animations you can go to the animations you can use some some fly in object okay